In this video, we're going to talk about a common question that I get over the years, which is, if I'm going to upgrade to a new Garmin GPS, what are the my mapping options? And mapping is a big thing. If you've been using GPSs for a while, you have your custom Garmin maps, you have your purchase maps, and you want to know basically what are your options. So what I have here is three recent Garmin releases. This is, uh, we got our InReach Explorer Plus that was released a couple years ago. We have the GPS Map 66 ST, which was released, I believe, uh, the fall of 2018. And then we got the eTrex 22X, which was released in the fall of 2019. Date of recording in this video is February 2020. All three of these GPS devices come with preloaded maps. Ironically, all three will have three different mapping products. So we're going to take a look at it and take a look at some of the options here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to turn on all these units and we can take a look at some of the mapping options. Based on my needs, I don't really need to keep as much map products on my computer, but some of you, depending on what you do, you want to keep a lot of stuff locally on your computer so you can load up. So first thing we'll take a look is the uh, InReach Explorer Plus. This is the version that Garmin released after their acquisition of the Lorm. And if you are a follower of the channel, you've known I've been uh, doing InReach videos for a number of years since version one. This apparently was a DeLorme version and then they kind of held off on it when they did the acquisition and then they released it kind of looking pretty much like this. And then shortly after they released the 66, but let's take a look at this. And the preloaded map here is using the OpenStreetMap. And if you use the InReach portal or the Garmin Explorer portal, I uh, haven't checked it in a few months, but it used basically the OpenStreetMaps. And if you're outside of the US, Canada, Europe, anywhere else, OpenStreetMaps is a fantastic option because uh, if there's a detail missing and you have a GPS track, you can go in yourself and add the detail to the map. And a few months later, it shows up on here, which was really cool. Uh, OpenStreetMap for me was a great option. It provided enough detail and uploads from the community that I can uh, do this. And plus, every time that I synced to the InReach portal, every couple months, I would get a refresh version. So you always get the latest mapping data based on where you, you got. Here we have the uh, GPS uh, Map 66. Let me just uh, hide the dashboard so we can get the full map screen here. So this is using the uh, typical Garmin North American Topo map. And you can see here already that it is a little bit different from the OpenStreetMap. Quite a bit of detail missing if you are outside of the US. I don't know if you agree with me, but I prefer the detail on this one than on this one, which is ironic because the 66i, which is the inReach into this frame, uses a completely different map product, which is found, ironically, on this one. This is the eTrex 22X. Whoa, upside down. Here it is. This is using the new Garmin Topo Active map, which from what I've read from the website is a, a hybrid of the Garmin base map, POIs, or points of interest, layered underneath the uh, open street map. So you kind of got the detail from this one, plus the POIs from this one, which when you're doing searches in this product here, were fairly nice. We loaded up some geocaches with the little one here today. But let me just uh, get to a... A uh, spot here, you can see here there's a park nearby, and this is a really good one to use as an example. You can see here the detail on this map. We have the OpenStreetMap trails that were added, and I know this because OpenStreetMap has these trail names listed here. And you can see that there is nothing. There is nothing listed right here because of the Garmin product, which is the main Disadvantage of using this if you're outside of the US, just the details not there. And then when you have the inReach, if we were to look at and just scroll up to the park, you can see here that it has the OpenStreetMap data in its way.
Now, if you don't like the preloaded maps, you're probably asking yourself, Jim, what else can I do? Well, if you don't want to deal with computers and trying to load maps, I would highly recommend buying maps on an SD card, such as the Backroad Maps uh, SD card here. I got uh, a little Black Friday sale. So what I got here, this is an SD card that I got for Black Friday. And uh, this has um, Atlantic Canada. So this has uh, more than the Mapanese that I have. Ironically, this can't go on this because this is an internal battery. You can't open this up, so you can't really use it. So that's out of the way. These two garments, you can actually use it. So I'm going to use it on this one because it's a much bigger screen. You can see the difference. And we'll leave it here because I think you will agree with me from previously. This version of map really is inferior to this version of map. Finagle the uh, SD card slot here. Now, there's going to be a cut in the video because I always have trouble trying to open this. All right, so there it is, open. So there's really one way to uh, put these things in. All right, we got the SD card loaded in. <laughs> Only took seven minutes. So we have the SD card loaded up and the device booted. You can see here it looks a lot different than the eTrex 22 already. But if this, this does not show the way you want to, you can always go into menu, map setup, and you always have something called configure maps or some other variation that you can turn on and off the map layers. I'm going to turn off Topo Canada 2.0. It's garbage. There's Backroads Maps, Atlantic Canada. So there you go. And we have both products. So this is the Garmin Topo Active. This is the purchase Backroad Maps. And you can see there's a few differences here. Obviously, the topo uh, detail is a little bit more pronounced. And there are a few of the main trails that you'll find off of the Civic or Municipality websites that are identified, but OpenStreetMaps has a little bit more information on here. So depending, again, where you are, uh, you might have some map products that just simply have more data, depending on what you're looking for. But basically, this is uh, are the mapping options you have available to you based on the devices you have, or if you're thinking about upgrading devices based on the device that you get, you might have some uh, options. If you wanted the inReach all-in-one option, this is pretty solid. If you want to do a handheld, this is pretty good, but I would buy a product for this. And if you're getting the latest one, uh, this Topo Active is, I think, pretty good. Uh, it's just too bad you can't get this on this. Or, based on the time that you watch this video, this product might be on this one. So, you know, it's all based on what's going on. Hope you like this video, and we'll talk to you guys next time.